Welcome back to the Film and TV channel. Hope you're all staying safe and well. Uh, my name's Bernard. We're going to look at a series today. It's been out for a little while, but I've just caught up to it on a streaming site that I've recently uh, subscribed to. Uh, There's nine episodes of this, and today we're going to have a look at, uh, yeah, supernatural, uh, chiller, post-apocalyptic sort of thing. We're going to have a look at The Stand today, a 15 rating. Please, the channel is now monetized, so if you can give us any support by watching any of the ads or following any of the links that are of interest to you. Uh, if they're not of interest to you, you've still got the option of skip it of course but it will help the channel going forward uh, if you do uh, watch or sort of uh, have an interest in these sometimes sometimes they interest me sometimes i do watch one i'm uh, not all the time obviously but uh, if you can do that i'd be much appreciated all thumbs up very welcome guys press that notification button please spread the word about the channel and obviously my football channel as well if you can do that right the stand yeah a 15 certificate 8 hours and 30 minutes approximately over the nine episodes. I did watch this on Stars Play, yeah, on the 18th and 19th of January 2022, so over a couple of days. A post-apocalyptic dark fantasy written, of course, and based on the story by Stephen King that was first published back in 1978 by Doubleday. I did like uh, Stephen King's early stuff. I, I, I must admit, I got a little bit bored with some of his later stuff and that sort of put me off reading. Obviously, I've not read of Stephen King for a while, but I, I, did, I did find he got a bit too wordy and not enough action for me or not, not enough murder and horror for me, but... Uh, there you go. But certainly back in 1978, he was certainly one of my favourites. And the plot centres on a deadly pandemic of weaponised influenza. <laughs> if we're not too overdone with that at the moment. And its aftermath, of course, in which a few surviving humans gather into little factions and groups that are each led by personification of either good or evil. Uh, is there any in between? Probably not. And seem fated to clash with each other. King started writing this story in February 1975 originally, uh, seeking to create an epic in the spirit of Lord of the Rings. Yeah, OK, uh, it's a little bit different. That was set in contemporary America or USA. The book was difficult for him to write because of the large number of characters and storylines. Well, what was difficult about that? You just split it into, into parts, don't you? I don't, I don't understand what, why it was difficult. Uh, the miniseries... Uh, was brought a, fir a first miniseries was broadcast. Uh, yeah, I do remember this. I might go back and watch this. Uh, it was broadcast in, on ABC in 1994 and, of course, uh, 2008 to 2012 as well. So there's been options of this book, take-up options of this book, of course, previously. Marvel Comics published a series of comics on this as well. It completed its run uh, in February 2021. As I say, I'm watching this in 2022 on Stars Play, so about a year later than it was originally aired. Stars Whoopi Goldberg, Alexander Skarsgård, James Marsden, Odessa Young, Yovan Adepo, and Amber Heard. Is it any good? Well, these scores are all us all at the uh, 20th of January 2022. Uh, we've got a Rotten Tomatoes with a 55% positivity. Not fantastic. Uh, Ed Power, he didn't like it from the Daily Telegraph here in the UK. He said, never rises above a slightly dreary competence. <laughs> Quite well put for his criticism. Alison Schumacher, though, she's fresher on this. She's from RogerEbert.com. She said, a sometimes dazzling, often frustrating and undeniably assured effort that swings hard and occasionally connects. When it does, it's riveting television. When it doesn't, well... It's not boring. Yeah, I suppose that's probably right. IMDb, Internet Movie Database, Joe Public, you and me. Obviously, there's lots of reviews. It's been out quite a while on different places. But only getting an average of 5.5 .5 out of 10, which isn't fantastic. Uh, not a fantastic score. And, of course, uh, if you look at the scores themselves, uh, that's... Uh, 10,064 people give it between 6 and 9. So that's not bad with 5,960 just scoring it uh, between two and five. So 63% positivity, so slightly higher than the overall rating. So that, that's certainly of interest to me. So let's have a look at my little thoughts. Yeah, in the same way that the 1994 miniseries probably stood out because it was sort of newish then, wasn't it? That style of style of series, if you like, uh, even, even within the horror genre, this post-apocalyptic world. It wasn't sort of something... You know, we'd had it, but obviously we've been awash with it ever since, haven't we? Uh, and now we get all the new ones. So this this one's struggling just a little bit because uh, it seems a little bit 
unexciting and not as exciting as what we've already had over the last few years uh, and interesting stuff. So it, has, it hasn't aged particularly well, although they have, obviously I've tried to update it. That's not to say it doesn't have its good bits. It does. There are some, there's some good... They try to put little quirky scenes in to modernise it. We don't quite work sometimes. The soundtrack is not as perhaps as clever as other uh, new modern series in this in this genre. Uh, and the story is so familiar to us. It just it, it lacks a little bit of oomph most of the time. Even, even when there's something stark and really horrible happens, it just still lacks a little oomph compared with the opposition because perhaps we've come used to it. You know, we've been, been used to this sort of thing, so it's not really adding to what we've seen over the past few years. But overall, it's not a disaster. It's very, very watchable. I must, as I said, it did make me want to go back and watch that original series from the, from the 90s. So that can't be too bad. And it's okay. It is okay. But as I said, it's just a little bit out of its time now, I think. And they have, they have modernised it, of course, yeah. But uh, yeah, it just looked a little bit dated compared to some of the stuff that's, that's already already out there as I'm watching this in, well, 2022 now we're in. So uh, that, that's the only problem but as i said it's uh it's fine it's fine it has it's as it's okay bit so we'll give it a watchable rate i'll give it a standard six out of ten it did you know i did watch it and i could i could do all the bits and pieces while i was watching it it's a it wasn't overly clever where you're getting loads of flashbacks and having to concentrate it's, it's quite easy to watch and quite easy to follow the the storylines so, you know although there is a bit of messing about with time scales and stuff it, it doesn't detract from it at all. So I'll give it a six out of ten anyway. Let me know what you you thought, guys. I said you might have watched this a while ago. As I said, it's the first time I've I've got around to watching this, but I thought I'd give it a go as I've got a sort of trial sub on this stars play for three months, and obviously I, I doubt I'll be renewing it. There's there's bits and pieces on there that are of interest, but obviously there's so many subscription channels you have to sort of uh, cut, you know, keep it to the minimum, don't you guys? If you like me, you have to watch the old pennies. Anyway, thanks for watching today, guys. What are you going to do the rest of the day? Have a great one. Look after yourselves, look after your friends, look after your families. More importantly, let's all look after each other. We'll be here again on the Film and TV channel. I only ask one thing of you, don't I? Please stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.